First, for the better part of a year now, South Portland has been generating more solar power than any other city or town in Maine. Nearly 3,000 solar panels next to the transfer station capture enough energy to, in effect, supply about 12% of the power used in South Portland schools and municipal buildings. Revision Energy installed the panels. Its roots go back to 2003 and two guys who started a renewable energy business in a garage in the town of Liberty. Phil Coop is one of the co-founders of Revision Energy, which is now a major player in renewable energy in northern New England, with about 250 employees and a business that's growing by 15 to 20 percent a year. When you started, did people say, mm, what you're doing is nice, but you're really never going to create much of a business out of that? Yeah, solar was still sort of a backwoods, more uh, hippie-oriented technology, but it was ready to emerge out of the shadows and, and come mainstream. In the last, what, four or five years, the price of solar panels has dropped dramatically. It's down something like 75%? Yeah, that's, that's spot on. The technology has now reached that point where it's cost competitive with fossil fuels. The numbers are adding up. How many solar installations have you done in New England since you started the business? We're past the 7,000 mark today, and that's in Maine, New Hampshire, and Massachusetts. And is the, is the number picking up as, as it becomes more economical? Yeah, we've grown uh, between 15 and 25 percent every year that we've been in business. We are standing here at the South Portland Transfer Facility, and this installation of solar panels represents what the largest municipal solar array in Maine? In Maine, yep, yeah, absolutely. We have 3,000 solar panels installed here. Um, this array can power roughly 120 average Maine homes. It's doing 12 percent of the entire South Portland citywide load. So we're using, you know, the, uh, the power from this array is handling the power that's getting used over here at the transfer station and helping out with the municipal offices around the town. We set up this interview several days ago, so we didn't know what the weather was going to be. There is not a cloud in the sky. Ideal conditions for solar power. But it's not always like this in Maine. What happens when you get four straight days of rain and clouds? The great news is that the battery technology is maturing very quickly and it's starting down that same cost curve that the solar panels have been going down. And so today you can, you can install battery backup in your home or at your small business and you're able to span those four days of cloudy weather. But I think it's really important to, to note that Maine's solar resource is a lot more powerful than people think. Uh, for example, if you install this solar array in Houston, Texas, you're going to get about the same output that you do right here in South Portland, Maine. And that's because solar panels really prefer a cool and dry climate. So even though Houston, Texas has a little bit more sunshine year round, the cooler temperatures and the kind of the brilliant crisp skies that we have here are more favorable to, to solar energy investments. Florida is the sunshine state. We see that on the Florida license plates. But in fact, when you compare Maine to Florida in terms of solar power, Maine is nearly as good a place for generating solar power as Florida. Yeah, we're about 10% less on an annual basis, which surprises a lot of folks. It's a modest uh, difference. Yeah. yeah. What are the things that, I don't know if they keep you up at night, but what are the things that you worry about a bit? Well, the biggest challenge is that after 200 years of the Industrial Revolution, there's been trillions of dollars of fossil fuel wealth created over that time span. And much of that wealth is being deployed today to try to slow down renewable energy. You know, the folks who are still making their money in fossil fuels, they recognize the threat posed by re renewable energy to their status quo traditional business model. And so smart people are spending a lot of money to sow disinformation and confusion and chaos around renewables. Potential customers always want to know about the payoff. How long will it take before they get their investment back? And you know, the timeline is really important. What is the, the rough answer sure. to that these days for people who are doing it for their homes? So every solar project that is built today qualifies for a 30% federal tax credit, and that really helps drive return on investment. So an average homeowner, if they put a solar array on the roof, 
today, it takes about 10 years for them to get 100% of their money back, but they've got 40 year equipment on their roof. So once you pay off the, uh, the initial investment, you get decades of free electricity. Tax credits that have been given by states and by the federal government have done a lot to promote solar power. There are people who say there shouldn't be any kinds of tax credits for any solar power, that there ought to be a level playing field, let the best source win. What would you say to that argument? Fossil fuels have been subsidized since the day we started using them, and you know, oil, gas, and coal all continue to be subsidized today. So if people want to eliminate subsidies, we'll take them away from all energy sources and play on a level playing field. As we mentioned, the South Portland operation is the largest municipally owned solar farm in Maine, and Revision Energy is now working on the largest private solar operation in the state. That will consist of nearly 1,200 panels spread across the roof of the Pepperell Mill campus in Biddeford. The developer of that project is interested in working with the owners of other mills in the area to create a renewable energy district. So lots of interesting stuff going on there.